So a lot of times people are amazed by my stories and they're like, man, you must have had a crazy life. But I, I don't think that because, well, these are my people. So I personally am afraid of spiders, okay? Now, I don't remember why I'm afraid of spiders. Probably some creepy shit happened when I was a kid. But my best friend Colt has a very good reason for, for being afraid of spiders. So what had happened was, so I think he was like 18. He was living outside Boston. Boston gets snow sometimes, and, and this was one of those times. It was a blizzard. It was a snowstorm. I don't know nothing about that. It was a whiteout, which sounds dangerous to me, but apparently it's just when the snow is, is just blowing and you can't see nothing. When I, when I first heard with that, I, I, thought it was, I thought it was racist, but I'm not smart. So anyway, so it's a blizzard, and he's driving because he's stupid. Everybody on the highway is going super slow because can't nobody see nothing. Um, in his car, he sees a little spider on the dangle from the from the rear view, just on the dangle coming down. Now, at this time, he was already not too happy with spiders because when he was a kid, he was drinking some Kool-Aid, red flavor. And apparently, uh, uh, at the same time, a spider had been drinking some Kool-Aid, red flavor. And the spiders decided to sit his spider ass on his lips. Needless to say, Colton did not react well to this and didn't like spiders from then. So back to the blizzard caught in the car with the spider on the dangle slow. He said he tried to ignore it for a couple minutes because he was like, man, I don't, I, don't even want, I don't even want to mess with that spider, man. I'm in a blizzard. I got other things to worry about. But eventually the dangle just became too, you know, it was, it was in his face on the dangle, bro. Now remember, he's driving on the highway in a blizzard in the winter. So he goes to turn on the heat to, little, you know, <laughs> blow the spider off the, from the dangle. But unbeknownst to him, apparently that spider has shitted all her babies out into uh, his air vents. And when he hit that heat button, they all came blowing the hell out. So he just got thousands of spiders to the face while he driving in a blizzard. And I'm going to be honest with you. He, he, he reacted in a much better way than I reacted. He crashed his car. That's what he did. He crashed the car in a blizzard. He crashed the car into a snow bank and got it stuck but didn't care at the time because he had spiders all over his body. Jumped out the car screaming and started stripping in the middle of a blizzard in the snow on the freeway. I was not there to see it, but he likens it to that scene in Tommy Boy where they thought it was bees. So now he butt naked standing in the snow um, trying to figure out what just had happened. Thinking to himself that it's still a blizzard and he got to get back in his car. At this point in the story when he was telling it to me the first time, I, I, I wasn't paying a whole lot of attention because I was hyperventilating with laughter and a fair, uh, fair amount of fear also because that's my nightmare eventually he did get back in his car and proceeded to cry drive his way home not knowing how many spiders were were still in his car but knowing that it wasn't zero so that's why colt don't like spiders but it's also why when y'all like man you got the craziest stories i'll be like no it don't no it don't